Welcome to my channel and this class which is all about strengthening the core. So let's start off lying on our banks and place the hands on the stomach. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose and then slowly exhale through the mouth. Exhale all the air out. So again, taking a deep breath in. And as we exhale, let's start finding the contraction of the pelvic floor muscles and use the hands to feel the stomach drawing in like we're closing a corset. And when we've found that, we're just going to stay here for a few seconds, seeing if we can still relax the muscles of the shoulders and the neck and the face, just engaging the center. And on the inhale, release everything. And we're going to do that one more time. Deep breath in. Exhale. Pelvic floor engages, lifts. Feel the stomach drawing in. Use the hands to help that sensation. And then stay there just for a few seconds, relaxing the pelvis, relaxing the shoulders and the muscles of the face, really targeting the center of the body. Inhale, release. Now we're going to take our fingertips and place them underneath the navel. And this time, as we exhale, we're going to think of pressing down and also scooping up a little bit with the fingertips towards the head. And allow that to curl the tailbone off. And we're just going to stay there and relax. Just doing that a few more times. So I really find that this helps me Feel the stomach pulling in deeper and deeper and deeper, really scooping it in and up as much as possible. And then letting that all go, inhale. Again, press the fingertips down and then scoop and feel the tailbone curling up just a little bit. We're really focusing on how much we can draw the stomach in, 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 in. And let that go, relax. Let's clasp the hands. Place the hands behind the head. Inhale to create as much length as possible through the neck. Exhale, draw the stomach in, lifting the head and shoulders up, chest lift. Really exhale all the air out, soften the chest. And inhale, head comes back down. Let's do that again, just like that. Inhale to lengthen, exhale to lift the head and shoulders up and draw the stomach in. Stay then, really pull the stomach in and up. Relax the neck and shoulders. Coming back down. One more time, we're going to come up. This time we're going to stay up, take little pulses up and up. So each pulse is a Opportunity to draw the stomach in even more. Stay for a moment longer and relax the head down. Bring the heels just a little bit further in towards you. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, lift the head and shoulders up to that same place we were just at. And we're going to add on that scoop of the stomach and lift the hips. It's a small movement with the hips, but very deep movement with the stomach and relax the hips down. Again, exhale, drawing the stomach in and then lifting the hips, creating more length through the spine and relax down. Gonna do that twice more, exhale, 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 drawing the stomach in, in, in and relax, inhale. One more time, exhale. Stomach in, in, in. Stay there. Squeeze your pelvic floor and stomach muscles in and relax. So relax the head down, keeping the shoulders wide and the elbows open. I'm going to take both knees over to the right and stay here for a moment, feeling the weight of the legs. And then to bring the legs back, really think of engaging the oblique muscles. So drawing the stomach in, and that's what brings the legs back to center. Over to the other side, take the legs to the left, 
going to stay there for a moment, really allowing the weight of the legs to relax and using the stomach to bring the legs back. So keep going in your own rhythm from side to side. Keep the head relaxed onto the hands. As you do this, you might feel sort of massage for your lower back on the floor. So the stomach muscles are working with the back and really soften into the mat. Do one last time to the left. This time when the legs go over to the right, we're going to stay there. If you need to adjust your legs to make it more comfortable, feel free to do so. Inhale to lengthen, exhale, bring the head and shoulders up, gazing forwards. Relax the head back down, inhale. Again, exhale, 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 creating length through the neck. Inhale, coming back. One last time, we're going to stay up there and take little pulses. You should be feeling it on the side of the waist. Little pulses up and the stomach in, 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 in. Stay there just for a little longer. Bringing it down. Take the legs over to the other side. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, coming up, gazing forwards. Inhale, open. Exhale, coming up, stomach in. One more time, inhale. This time, staying up and little pulses. Pulse and stomach in and in and in. Just a few more little pulses like that. And then stay. Bring the head and shoulders down. Bring the legs in towards you, hold onto the knees, and we're just going to use our hands to help us make some nice big circles. So even though the focus is on the center, we're going to be working the whole body. So warming up the legs, creating movement in the hip socket. A couple more like that. Then hug the knees in, inhale, exhale, lift the head towards the knees, knees towards the head. So again, the tailbone's coming up and again, drawing the stomach in, 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 We're squeezing all the air out of the lungs, coming back. We're going to do that with the hands clasped behind the head. Inhale, exhale, stomach in, bring knees to forehead, forehead to knees, squeeze all the air out, see how much you can draw the stomach in, in, in. Head down. One more time, lifting the head up, bringing the knees in towards the chest. And let's go for a toe touch. So toes come down towards the floor. Maybe they touch and up. And then the other toes and up. So I'm doing it one leg at a time. You might choose to do both legs. If you're doing it like me, we're going to take it a little bit faster. If we're running in place, all the time really feeling that connection of the stomach, really warming up the center, and relax. Open the arms to the sides, having around a 90-90 degree angle for my legs, and squeeze the thighs together. Let's take both legs over to the right, going close to the floor but not actually touching and using the stomach muscles to bring the legs back. And to the left, open the arms, open the shoulders, take the legs almost towards the floor. They don't quite touch, and then the stomach brings them back. And you might need to make it a little bit smaller if you feel that that's appropriate for you. So just a few more times, the working, engaging the obliques of the stomach while well, the back gets a nice twist. Once more to the right. Bring the legs back. And once more to the left. And back. And this time we're going to take the legs all the way to the floor on the right side. Place the right hand on the knee or somewhere 
on the leg. Just for a moment, we're going to relax before we really get into working the stomach with the original Pilates repertoire. So allowing the shoulders to soften. Deep breath. No matter what we're doing, we want to keep connected to the breath. And then take the legs over to the other side, over to the left, left hand on the top leg. Relax the right shoulder. Breathe deeply. So even if we're working intensely, we still want to do it in a calm way. So bringing the knees in, hands behind the head. Take a breath in. Exhale, stomach in, lift the head and shoulders up. And this time we're going to stretch the legs out and find the angle that really challenges your stomach. But you can keep your back long. Bend the knees in. Head down. Again, exhale, stomach in, creating as much length through the spine and through the legs and drawing the navel in and up. Head relaxes, bend the knees. This time we're going to come up, keep the head up, reach the legs out, and then bring the knees in, lift the hips just a little bit. Exhale. Inhale. Twice more, just like that. Relax the head for a moment. We're going to add the pumping arms of the hundreds to that. So lift your head and shoulders up, reach your fingertips. We're going to breathe in, two, three, five. Exhale, stretch the legs out. Inhale, bring the knees in, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. One more time like that. This time we're going to stay with the legs out and finish off the hundreds here. In and out. Feel free to take the legs lower or higher if you feel it's appropriate. And we have 15 more. Breathe in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out, great length through the fingertips. Breathe in, two, three, four, five, two, three, leg through the toes. 30 more in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three. We're nearly there. In, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four. Last one in, two, three, four, five. Breathe out. Two, three, four, five. We did it. Relax down. Bring your head towards your knees. I'm just going to rock up and down a few times until we come to a sitting position. Stretching the legs out long. Stretch the arms up so you get that sense of length through the stomach. Come forwards with a long spine and then relax the head. Grab on if you can reach your feet, maybe your calves, or anywhere that feels right for you. Relax the head down, and each time you exhale, think of the navel drawing back as if someone's pulling us from the belt backwards. And then we're going to continue increasing that sense of scoop in the stomach, rolling halfway down. So the lower back is close to the floor, fingertips forward, and we're going to take three little pulses here. Pulse, 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 and then reach over and three pulses here, drawing the navel back. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Rolling halfway back. Exhale, two, three. Inhale over, then exhale, two, three. Halfway back, pulse. Reaching the fingertips forward, stomach in, and forward, two, three, one more time, just like that. Stomach scoops in, 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 and again, in, stomach in, stomach in, and this time we're going to take the full roll down and roll up. So rolling down, vertebra by vertebra, reaching the arms up and back. Roll up, inhale, exhale, feel that stomach scooping in, rolling up, vertebra by vertebra, stretching over. And just keep going in your own rhythm now. You can make this as fast or as slow as you like. Each time you come forward, think of really lengthening the back body, the back of the legs and the spine. Let's 
So we're going to roll down one more time. So we're going to stay there and place our hands by the sides of the body on the mat. Bring the knees in and reach the legs up. Inhale. So exhale, we're going to bring the legs towards us. So again, feeling the hips lift up, stomach scooping. Then opening both legs a little bit, circling them around. Just do a few more little circles like this. Squeezing the stomach in to reach the legs back, then opening and circling round. Let's go in the opposite direction. Open the legs, take them back just a little bit. You're just lifting your hips a bit off the floor and then bringing the legs in together. So we're preparing the roll over twice more with that, just that small movement. And if it's right for your back, we're going to go for the full roll over. If not, just do the same thing again. This time, take the legs over, opening, rolling down vertebra by vertebra, circling the legs around, using the stomach to take the legs over, open. Rolling down vertebra by vertebra. Let's do one more in this direction. Open, roll down. And let's change the direction. Open the legs, take them overhead. Squeeze the legs together, rolling down vertebra by vertebra and circling the legs around. Twice more, you can make it as big or as small as feels good for your body today. One last time, rolling down. Let's keep one leg up and place the other foot on the floor. And this is my left leg, so I'm using my right hand to have that sense of pressing gently down, anchoring through the center, and then making little leg circles. So I'm really focusing on what's happening in the stomach and using my fingertips to help me draw the stomach in and stabilize the pelvis. Let's go in the opposite direction. That's leg. So I'm keeping them small enough so I can really focus on the stomach. And let's change legs. Reach the other leg up. Opposite hand helps the stomach to really engage. So the leg circle, it's not only an exercise for the legs, it's also an exercise for the center. And let's circle in the other direction, using the fingertips, drawing the stomach deeper and deeper in towards the spine. I'm going to bend that knee, pull it in towards the chest, stretch the other leg out, and we're ready for single leg stretch. Lift the head and shoulders up, lift the leg off, and use the hands to bring you up just a little bit more. Scoop the stomach in. Let's do it on the other side, just to feel that scoop in the stomach, lifting up maybe a little bit more. And then let's pick up the pace, pulling one knee in as the other leg stretches out going to keep going with exactly the same movement. Just have the hands behind your head. Keep lengthening the neck. Keep scooping the stomach. Just a few more of those. Relax down and we're ready for double leg stretch. So lifting your head and shoulders up, drawing your stomach in. Reach the legs forward, stretch the arms back, really pull the stomach in and then circle the arms Putting the knees in, stretching out really long and in tight little ball. Stretch length and circle in. Let's do a few more like that. One last time. And relax the head down. Hands behind the head, legs at a 90-90 degree angle, tabletop position. Lift the head and shoulders up. We're going to stretch one leg out and take that shoulder in the direction of the knee. Think of pointing the elbow up and we're going to take little pulses up and up and up 
and up four more. Six, seven, eight, and in the other direction. Eight in that way. One, two, three, four, four more. Six, seven, let's go on four. One, two, three, four, four to this side, two, three, and then on two. One, two, one, two, and crisscross. Go in your own rhythm. You can take it faster and faster and faster if you like until you really feel the stomach muscles working really well. And when it's enough, relax just for a moment. Stretch one leg up, holding on behind the leg, stretching the other leg out long. Let's lift the head and shoulders up and just take a moment to stretch it out here. Switching legs. Bring the other leg up. Take a moment to stretch the leg. Relax the shoulder. Lift the head and shoulder up and stretch the other leg, lifting it up. And we're going to do single straight leg stretch. So we're going to switch the legs and pull and pull, and pull, and the legs are going to keep going, the hands are going to go behind the head to support and lengthen, and just lengthening the tips of the toes away from the top of the head. Again, you can make it as fast or as slow as feels good for you. A few more like that. Release, and we're going to do lower and lift. So head floats up, reach the toes up towards the ceiling, let your hips come off just a little bit. And as you exhale, reach the legs down as far as you feel you can and bring them up, lift the hips just a bit. So really creating length through the legs as they arc down and arc up. Lengthen the legs. As the legs go down, you really need to work the stomach, so making sure there's no tension in the back. Lots of tension in the stomach, lots of work in the stomach. Ah, for me, that feels about enough. So hug the knees in towards your chest, and we're going to roll ourselves up and down a few times, massaging through the spine and coming up to a sitting position. Open the legs, maybe a little bit wider than the mat. Fingertips on the floor. Reach the top of the head up to inhale. Exhale, we're going to walk the fingertips forwards. Relax the top of the head down. So here too, we're going to really focus on the center. And on each exhale, seeing how much we can lift the stomach up. I'm thinking of sending the sits bones down into the floor. So just take your time to breathe and focus on that deep work in the stomach. And to come up, think of pressing the sits bones down, rolling up one vertebra after another, after another to a long spine. I'm going to take my left hand towards my right foot, hook it over. The other hand reaches back, so it's like a sore preparation. And again, think of pulling the stomach back and rooting the left sits bones down into the mat. And we're going to stay there, deepen the breath and deepen how much the stomach can, can draw in each time you exhale. And let's just do that to the other side. One hand hooks over the leg, the other hand reaches back. I think of sending that right sits bones down and then focusing in each exhalation on how much the stomach can draw in. Coming up. And then the knees are going to hold on behind the calves for open leg ro rocker. So you might want to straighten your legs all the way or keep a soft bend. Feel the stomach drawing in, in, in. Start rolling 
And then all the way back. Coming up, find the balance. Really start it off with that sense of the stomach scooping, scooping in, rolling back. Coming up, finding the balance. We'll just do that twice more. Rounding, rounding, rounding. Stomach in, stays in. And coming back, finding the balance. One last time. Closing the legs. Just a quick teaser. We'll come back to that a bit later. And then hands behind the head. Lengthen. Just one time. We're going to roll down very slowly with control, vertebra by vertebra by vertebra. And from here, we're going to lie onto one side with both legs long. And we're going to start off by thinking of lengthening the top leg away, drawing the pelvic floor and stomach muscles in and up, and just let that top leg come up a little bit higher than the hip and lengthening it back down. So a few more times, just that simple movement. And when the movement is quite simple, gives us a lot of time to think about what's going on in the center and how much length we can create. Just do it a couple more times, just like that. And we're going to glue the inside thighs together and try and do exactly the same sense of length with both legs. Lengthening the legs to lift and lengthening them to lower. The next time we lift the legs, we're going to also lift the head and shoulders up, not very high, but very long, and down. So we're going to keep going with that. I need the support of my hand down on the mat. Some of you might not need to, and you might be able to do it with your arm up. So you choose what's right for you and what helps you engage your center and create length. And we're just going to do it one more time and stay there, maintaining the length and then elongating more and more, and more. Relax, bend the knees. And come up onto the forearm. Going to press the forearm down. Think of engaging the muscles on the side of the body, lifting the hips up, and really stretching the top side, and coming back down. Let's do it again just like that. So really pressing down and lifting the waist as much as possible. And down. Just going to do it one more time. This time we're going to stay there and take little pulses up and up and up and up. A few more like that. And then just stay, lengthen, coming back. We're going to move on to the hand. If that does not, doesn't work for you, keep um, Keep going with that same exercise. Press the hand down, stretching up. So again, we're thinking of lifting the side of the waist and lengthening the top side and coming down. Again, lifting up, stretch it out, push the hand down, reach the fingertips away. One last time. Let's just stay here and also here, like take little pulses up and up and up and up. Stay, stay, stay. And before we do that whole thing to the other side, just let's come to an all fours position. As you exhale, round the back. And again, feel that sense of the scoop of the stomach lifting as the tailbone curls down. Inhale. Opening the chest and lengthening through the stomach. A few more times like that. Exhale, rounding. Inhale, lengthening. Each time you round, see if you can draw the stomach in even more. 
might help to press the hands down and the shins down into the mat to help sensation of lift. And let's do that one more time. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Draw the stomach in, in, in. Push the hands into the mat. And before the other side, let's just take puppy stretch. So again, giving the stomach muscles a chance to really elongate. Relax the head down. And breathe. So turning to the other side, I'm going to be with my back to you for a bit. Stretch the legs out long. And let's start off with the top leg. So really elongating, lifting it up, lengthening more to bring it down. To a few more simple ones like that to really engage the stomach muscles. Really notice what's going on in the pelvic floor area and they might feel a bit different from the right and the left and then glue your inside thighs together and lift both legs up really long up really long down reach and lift so when we find that length through the legs, we're going to find length through the neck and also lift the head and shoulders up and down. And if you don't need the support of the hand on the floor like me, feel free to take the arm up. Just a few more like that. Lifting up, lengthening more each time. And the last time, we're just going to stay there, keep elongating, stretching as if we're a piece of elastic that's being stretched more and more and more and more. And then coming down, bending the knees, place the forearm down, press down with the forearm, lift the muscles of the, on this side of the waist. We're just going to stay there, see how high we can make this arc. And... Again, like that, pressing down, reaching the top fingertips away and down. And then just staying there for some little pulses up and up and up. Stay and coming down. So either repeating that or if you're joining me, come up onto the hand with the same sense of connecting down. Lift the side of the waist. Stay there, lengthen. Bringing it down. Let's go again, just like that. And down. One last time. We're going to stay there and take the little pulses here. Up and up and up and up. Stay for a few more seconds. Lift even more. And then coming onto the knees, let's press the forearms into the mat, engage the stomach and stretch both legs out. So we're in a forearm plank and just rocking forwards and backwards, taking the heels back and forwards. And then coming to center, let's set the hips down. Bring the forearms just a little bit further so that we're in a sphinx pose. Press the forearms down, open the chest. So again, an opportunity to lengthen the stomach, open the collarbones. Just gonna stay here for a few seconds. Maybe it feels really nice to stretch it out after the work we did before with the stomach. And then we're gonna bring the head down, hands underneath the shoulders. And with that same sense of lengthening the stomach, press the hands down, open the chest, coming up, and bend the elbows, coming down. So we're pressing down into the floor with the hands, lengthening the stomach, lengthening the spine, and then we're just 
opening the chest, bending the elbows back, creating even more length as we come down. Let's just do one more time like that. Open and bending the knees just for a moment, coming into that rest position. Breathe. Coming on to all fours, let's tuck the toes and lift the hips up. Take a moment in this V position to paddle the feet. Stay lengthen and then bring ourselves to a plank position. Four leg pull front, reach one leg up and down and then the other one and down keep pressing the arms down into the mat lengthening the spine let's just do one last time either side coming back to that rest position and then back onto the forearms reach the legs back and this time we're going to take the heels to the right and over to the left, to the right, and to the left. One more time, either side. Coming back to center. Let's come back into the Sphinx, pressing down, open. Bring arms forward. Lift the right arm and the left leg and the head Floats up for a swimming preparation. And down. Again, other side, left hand, right leg. Everything floats up and down. It's going to do one more either side like that. And then taking both arms back, we're going to lift the arms and the legs and the head. So while we're strengthening the front of the body, it's equally important to work on the back of the body. Just opening everything out here. And coming back to that all fours position. Stretch the legs out. This time, we're going to lift one leg up, bend the knee, bring it towards opposite, uh, to the same elbow, and, and then change. So we're bringing the knee towards the hand and lifting the stomach. A few more just like that. And coming back to that. Down dog, that pyramid V position. Take a breath because we're going to continue lifting the right leg up, stretching it long. This time we are going to go to the opposite elbow. So bend the knee, bring, I'm using the right knee, so I'm going towards the left elbow and then shoot the leg back up and then go into the same elbow like we did before. And up. Cross across the body, lift up. One more time, we're going to open, we're going to hover for a moment and then set that right foot down. I'm just going to stay here for a moment. You might want to bend that knee down towards the floor. You might want to keep the legs straight. But again, thinking of lengthening, opening. And then we have that on the other side, lift. This time I'm going with the left leg up. And then taking it across towards the right and up and to the left. Up just one more time. Across and up. This time open, hover for a moment. Place our foot on the outside of the hand. Maybe bring the knee down if that feels good for you. And then just stay here. Opening the chest. Let's come back to 
to the down dog. Just stay and breathe for a few seconds. And then bring your knees down and we're going to get into some really intense work for the stomach. So hands behind your head, lengthening up. Just bring the head down towards your knees. Just stay here for a moment, tapping into that sense of length of the whole back body. And then similar to what we did at the beginning, we're going to pull the stomach in, roll half way back and take little pulses, pulse, pulse, pulse. And then head towards the knees and here too we'll take little pulses, pulse, pulse, pulse. Rolling halfway back, pulse, pulse, pulse. And forwards, two, three, one more time, just like that. Stomach draws in, two, see how far back you can go. And forward, two, three. From here, rolling up to a straight back. Lengthen the spine up. So I'm going to hinge back and see how far back we can go and still feel the connection of the stomach. It shouldn't be any pain in your back. And coming up, lengthen. Again, lift. Just play with how far back you can go. You really need to engage the stomach to protect the back. One more time, just like that. I'm going to do a variation of neck pull. So coming over, rolling up vertebra by, rolling down, sorry, vertebra by vertebra. Now we're going to roll up, see if you can keep your hands where they are. If not, you can use them for a moment and then bring them back. Going to dive forwards, round back, lengthen on a long diagonal forward, and then take it on a long diagonal back, and then reach on a long diagonal forward, and from here we're going to round the spine. It's like a really lovely wave-like motion. Rolling up. You might need to use your hands, you might not. Dive over, stretching long, up, back, coming forwards, rolling down vertebra by vertebra. Let's do one more neck pull variation like that. Back. This is going to be the last one and we're going to roll down vertebra by vertebra. Stay on our backs. And we're going to take corkscrew or corkscrew variation. We're going to start off small, bringing the legs towards us, taking them a little bit over to the right, down and to the left. So I'm going to keep going in the same direction, circling the legs towards the ceiling. So you might want to keep it relatively small, or if you feel like you want to do the full corkscrew and take your legs way over your head, just feel free to make it as big or as small as is right for your body today. I'm going to circle twice more in this direction. And I'm changing the, the direction of the circle left, down, over to the right, and up. So start off small and then listen to what your body is telling you. Do you need a bit more of a challenge? Do you need to make the movement a little bit smaller to protect your back? Go as far as feels good for your body right there. So a couple more just like that. And the last big challenge is going to be a teaser. Let's start off sitting, so rocking up and down a few times. And let's start off with the knees bent, reach the fingertips forward, rolling down, arms go back, rolling up, and if you choose, straighten your legs. So I'm bending my knees and then stretching them. You might decide just to keep your knees bent the whole time, or you might decide to keep your legs straight the whole time. Reaching up and down, up 
And then we're just going to do one last time. Stay there, reach, 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 reach. And coming down. Okay, we're going to finish off with two really nice stretches. So you're going to take your hips and place them on the right side of the mat. Stretch the legs over to the left and the arms over to the left. So we're creating like a banana shape. Try to have both hip points pointing up. So this might feel enough of a stretch for you. If you want a bit more, we're going to bring your right leg towards your left and maybe even cross it over. So that's made my right hip go up, so I need to bring it back down. And this is one of my favourite stretches, really giving a beautiful sense of openness through the right side of the body. Uh, I'm going to enjoy it. We deserved it. Deep breath in, and each exhalation, try and soften a little bit more. So two more really big, full breaths. If you need to take a bit more time, you're welcome to take as long as you want. I'm going to shift now over to the other side. So shifting the hips over to the left, taking the legs and the arms to the right. So my body is like in a banana shape. And then to increase the stretch, I can hold on to the left wrist with the right hand, bring the left leg closer to the right, or maybe even cross it all the way over and breathe. Each exhalation softening a little bit deeper into the stretch. Two more really big breaths. So again, if you feel like you need more time, take as long as you want. I'm going to move on to the last stretch. So we'll start off the same way by shifting the hips over to the right. Bring both knees to the chest and take the knees over to the left. Arms are going to be open. So it might feel good for you to stay with your right knee over your left knee. Or if you want a bit more of a stretch, cross your right leg underneath your left leg. So that'll give you just a little bit more of a twist. So really feel free to experiment with what leg position works best for you. And when you find whatever works, again, just soften and breathe. Oh, nice deep breath, making sure there's as little tension in the shoulders as possible. And last one to the other side, shifting the hips over to the left, taking the legs up and over to the right. So you might want to keep that same position of the legs, or you might want to cross your left leg underneath your right one. Find what works for you on this side. It might be slightly different. Both sides have a life of their own. They're very different. And then breathe. So again, take as long as you want to stay there. And when you've had enough, let's just come to lying on our backs. Relax the arms and legs and the muscles of the face. Just enjoy that sense of being able to relax and let go. Notice how the breath 
gently flows in and out. So I hope you enjoyed that class and that you feel a little bit more connected to the strength of your centre, your powerhouse. If you haven't uh, subscribed, then please do so and we can do more classes together. <laughs>